Welcome to the Believe You Receive podcast. I'm Dr. Lorette Willis. Be encouraged, be inspired, get excited. I have faith-filled, fun-filled words, prayer, and declarations to help you be your best self. Jesus said in Mark 11, 24, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. So let's go. You may have heard of John G. Lake, who was a missionary from Canada, and he was a missionary to South Africa. He also started the Healing Rooms movement, if you will, in the early 1900s in Washington, where it was documented that tens of thousands of people were healed. It was in the newspapers. But I wanted to share with you a remarkable historical event that took place in South Africa. From 1908 to 1913, there was a horrific bubonic plague that broke out, and John G. Lake was caring for the sick and burying the dead, and um, Great Britain sent a ship of medical supplies and a corps of doctors to him, and they asked how he had protected himself from the deadly plague. And his answer was this, I believe the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. And that was quoting Romans 8, 2. He said, as long as I walk in the light of that law, the spirit of life, no germ will attach itself to me. So in a scriptural context, this verse speaks of Jesus' work of salvation, bringing the life of the spirit of God to us and freeing us from the law of sin, or in other words, from everything evil that came into the world through sin, such as disease, poverty, addictions, spiritual death, uh, even early physical death. Now, the doctors were unconvinced, and uh, so Lake insisted that they do uh, an experiment with him using a microscope. Lake showed them that If they took some of the bubonic plague, it was a foam that was from the lungs of a dead person, put it under a microscope, they could see that the disease cells would still be alive. But then he said, okay, now put the foam in my hand. And they did. And they saw that when they put that bubonic plague foam in Lake's hand and looked at it under the microscope, they saw that all of the diseased cells instantly died, proving what Lake said to be true. And I know that sounds remarkable, but when you know what he's saying here, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. He also said it's one of the most difficult things in the world for people who are not familiar with the ministry of healing to comprehend that the power of God is tangible, actual, and a living quantity. It's just as real as electricity or any other native force, he said. Yes, and a great deal more so. It is the life principle that stands behind all manifestations of life everywhere. And Dr. Lake went on to say, if we could make the world understand the pregnant vitality of the Spirit of God or the healing power of God, men would discover that healing is not only a matter of faith, and a matter of the grace of God, but a perfectly scientific application of God's power to man's needs. You know, I love seeing the work of uh, neuroscientist Dr. Caroline Leaf, who is showing more and more over time how science is catching up with the Bible. You know, I think that's so powerful. And I'll close with this from Dr. John G. Lake. The power of God is just as tangible as electricity is. You handle it. You minister it to one another. You receive it from God through faith and prayer. And your person becomes supercharged with it. And so I just want to invite you to claim for yourself the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. I invite you to say that. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Amen. Hey, thank you for being with me today. To learn more about Praise Muse Fitness Ministry, go to praisemuse.com. To become a certified health coach with a biblical worldview, go to certifiedhealthcoachinstitute.com. And to learn how to renew your mind and retrain your brain at the same time, please go to betransformed.today. That's betransformed.today.